I'm Gary Slimer, President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, video number four on group coaching. All right, so let's bring this thing all together. Let's wrap this whole thing up. I want you to think about measurement and execution. Okay, so execution, we've talked about how we put this thing together. But now, how are you going to measure how well you did on this? So you kind of have to go back to the beginning and think about hmm, what success looked like, what we need, what we want. Now, how are you going to measure it? If we used, in the beginning of this thing, we used some kind of self-assessment, that's one way, particularly if that assessment was a 360. If you used an organizational assessment, like a climate survey, you might want the opportunity to use the climate survey as your tool. So think, you put six, eight people through this program, and they were five months into it. When do you want to measure it? Maybe you had a climate survey here, maybe you want to measure five, six months afterwards to see where that is. Right? So they went through this five-month program. 360, same thing. Maybe you want to wait a little bit before you get an update on the 360. How do they do? Great opportunity, but you need to think about this at the beginning, and this is something we will work on together. How do we want to measure this thing? So assessment and measurement. What kind of tools are we going to use, and when are we going to use them to do it? Next, execution moving forward. You've completed this program. A group of individuals gone through this program for five months. Now what? You've used this as a development program. Now, what do they take away from it so it doesn't wane off? Well, in some cases, the peer coaching you might want to have continue. Some individuals will keep the peer coaching on their own. They'll make that choice to keep it going. So that's one. The other is executive development plan, where some folks develop an executive development plan on this is how I continue to develop, and they incorporate that into their overall development one-on-ones with their supervisor. Here's the way I want to do this. Here's how I want to develop. And they make that part of their annual evaluation. It's what makes sense for you, for your organization, and the individuals that you are working on developing. All right, so I gave you some ideas. You now have an idea to how to look at your calendar. Where could I do this? Who do I want to do this with? What does success look like for me? How do I want to measure it? What are the topics we're going to cover? And then how are we going to measure it along the way? Thanks for listening to these videos. I would really welcome the opportunity to work with you to develop a group coaching program to develop the leadership in your organization.